he believed in me he believed in my talent when i guess uh, nobody did i come from outside so so you know um, i had no i had no legacy or not, nobody ex nobody knew anything of me hi everyone uh, so i'm here today to present a brand new actor to you all i think this has been a quite a special uh, feeling for me because through this i got to reflect upon my own um, career in cinema so far as an outsider in the film industry because when i got my first film rabne banadi jodi um uh, opposite shahrukh khan to be produced by yash raj films directed by aditya chopra i honestly didn't realize what a big deal it was at the time um frankly i did not even know uh, who aditya chopra was or what it felt or what it would be or mean uh, to be his heroine that's how clueless i was um i chose acting purely on the basis of sheer instincts i did not know anyone not a soul who uh, worked in movies or had any connection uh, to the film industry so i did what any outsider does i worked to get my first break i auditioned and in one such audition i got rabne banadi jodi thank you god um but you know what i feel i feel that honestly because i didn't have any legacy to live up to or any sense of familiarity with how cinema works and whatsoever um i feel like it 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 gave me a kind of determination and confidence that has definitely helped me uh, to be here and has enabled my journey so far in the movies um today i do a lot of films i i even produce some um so i'm very grateful um but i feel that um um there are a lot of people that i've been very grateful to uh, and i'm very thankful for uh, who have helped me in my journey so far um and yashraj is paramount aditya chopra because he believed in me he believed in my talent when i guess uh, nobody did i come from outside so so you know um i had no i had no legacy or not, nobody ex nobody knew anything of me and he chose me purely on the basis of what he felt i possess which was the talent that i had and i'm so grateful to him and i think as a company yashraj has always done that you know it has always backed talent first before legacies before connections before um perceptions and uh uh i know so now with with so many examples that we have seen of of actors being launched by the production house that um that here if no matter who you are where you come from if you have what it takes to become an actor virf will back you and because they believed in my talent i am here standing here today and very very happy and proud to present to you all another very young smart talented actor who's also determined to make it on her own steam so guys without further ado i would like to um, introduce the new virf girl anya singh i was just having a chat with anya and uh, she told me backstage that she's a little nervous so be nice otherwise i'm sitting here <laughs> beautiful uh, video thank you <laughs> thank you uh thank you everybody for coming this evening it means a lot to other than me so i'm just going to ask anya i'm just going to ask you a few questions that i've been dying to know i've just met her today backstage and we've had a little chat but but please tell me how has the journey been so far because there's a life right there's one life before you sign your fun, one for your first film and then there's the other like literally everything just changes it starts to feel different so what was it like what was it like before you became an actor and what was the first break like and then what were the reactions and i don't want to ask you anything specifically because i know that it's a thing that it's a moment that you can't even say because there's so much that happens so much that happened to me so tell me what was the first thing that you thought of when adi told you yes you're going to be doing this movie so i remember when um 
Adi sir finally told me that I've got this movie. That was my first proper conversation with Adi sir. Before that, I'd seen him at the cafe, you know, passed a smile, said hello, but that's it. Nothing beyond that. And uh, Shanu one day told me that, listen, I'm coming to office to meet you, and uh, I just want to chat with you. So I said, okay, cool. Like I'll wait. And Shanu Sharma takes me to the lift, and she says, we're going to the fourth floor. Now, only because of coffee with Karan, I know that the fourth floor means this is Aditya Chopra's place. So I was extremely nervous from the going from the third floor to the fourth floor. I went and I sat. I had a glass of water because I was so nervous. And uh, Adi sir walks in, very coolly says, "Okay, so you've got the film, and uh, I want you to work really hard." And so I heard that, and I was like. I was I was listening to what Adi was so I was hearing what Adi sir was saying, but I wasn't actually listening to him because everything just went completely blank for me, and I couldn't believe it. Like I thought when I get the film, I'll like cry or like you know it'll be very dramatic, but I think I couldn't believe the fact that my dream had finally turned into reality because it was very hard for me. So uh, those five minutes, I just spent staring and not listening, and. Uh, I walked out. Shanu gave me a hug, and I went back home. And I FaceTimed my entire family. And I think that's when it hit me that you know, finally, what I really wanted has come to me. And nobody in your family has ever done movies or been associated with cinema in any way, right? No. So what was that like? What was their reaction to this, to hearing this? Were they prepared for it? Did you know? Did they know you're going to be auditioning for this film? So my pe- my mother and. Um, Of course, my father. Everybody knew I'd been auditioning because I'd been auditioning for about two and a half months before I got the film. And um, my mother kept telling me that Anya, don't get your hopes too high because you know if you don't get it, you'll be very upset. So I think that's something I tried to do, but in my mind, I was like, if I don't get this, I'm going home. Like that's the end of it. Like this is it for me, and I have to get this. So um, I was very positive about um, the auditions. I think Shanu and Habib sir and Adi sir, everyone was very motivating. So it was quite quite okay. But then you auditioned a lot. Did you face because that's a process, na? Because um, you'll go to a lot of movie auditions and sometimes they tell you, "Ha, huh, you've been shortlisted," and you're like, "So many times, <laughs> so many you're times." Like, It's down to two girls. Yeah. It's you and another girl, and somehow yeah. it's the other girl who's yeah. getting it. <laughs> so that happened with me uh, a lot. In fact, I would always they would call me and be like, you know, um, you've been shortlisted, and it's between you and one more girl. And I'd be like, okay, please God, give this to me, please, please. I'd call up my mom and be like, acha mama, you know, I've been shortlisted for this ad. Uh, I think I'm going to get it. And of course, I never got it. I, I never got it. So when this happened, I think. Um, My mother and my entire family was actually really, really proud because they were very apprehensive. I'm the only child, and I'm a girl. And since we're outsiders, uh, there's this perspective that this is a big, bad world. And you know, if you don't have somebody to support you, you're going to get lost, or nothing's going to happen, or you're going to go down the wrong way. So um, my mother. was very very apprehensive it took me a year to convince my mother and my family that uh, to please let me come to bombay because um, it was my dream and i kept telling my mother if you don't let me go and if you don't let me do this i will always blame you and i will always regret it for the rest of my life because i'd rather go get rejected but i know that i gave it a shot you know rather than acha i could have gone but then mama didn't allow me to do to go so yeah I I know what you're saying because I felt that too and uh, this whole thing of this is a a difficult place to be in and it's very hard if you're from outside and um uh, you you know you'll go down the wrong road that's a very common perception that people had a lot of my family members also used to say that to my parents but tell me something because you are from not from the industry um and you know this is the perception that is built up about it How do you continue dreaming to be this, to 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 become an actor? You know what I'm saying? There's a there's a natural restraint that is somehow uh, this un unsaid, but it's there, right? That it's difficult, it's it's hard. But so how do you continue feeling motivated and focused to 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 work towards this place? So when I came to Bombay, uh, my mother had made it very clear 
that I'm giving you one year, Anya. And if within that year you don't get something, you're coming right back and I'm sending you to pursue your masters. Because my mother was very keen that I studied. So when I came to Bombay, I had the pressure of not only a timeline, but also like, will I get anything? Then as time passed, you know, months went and I went for audition and auditions and I didn't get anything. There were a lot of times when I questioned myself and I was like, was this the right choice? I gave up everything and I came to Bombay not knowing anybody, not only from the industry, but even outside. I had like two friends in Bombay. So was this the right choice? But then, since the first movie that I watched in my life, which was Dil To Pagal Hai on screen, it stuck on. So obviously there was something in me that kept pushing me and saying that, listen, your entire life you wanted to do this. Just give it a shot and just keep trying. Chalo, you have one year. That one year at least push yourself and go for every audition possible. You get something. So I think that 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 is what really motivated me. The fact that this was my dream and I gave up everything for my dream. So I felt like I had to get it and I was here to get it. So. And how is it working with Yashraj Films to be launched by the banner? I mean, it's, it's, I can't believe this has happened with me. Um, it's very surreal. It's anyone's dream, I feel, to be launched by such a prestigious banner. And uh, Yashraj is now family, I feel, you know. I, I don't feel like I'm a new person because I feel like I have a whole family backing me. So if I, if I have a question, if, if, I'm, if I'm uncertain about something, I know that I, there are 30 people I can go up to and be like, listen, I'm really confused, can you help me with this? Which, if I wasn't a part of this family, I think I would have been very um, nervous and lost. Yeah. Which is the best thing, right? Because while they give you that support and you, know, you can always um, go to them with any kind of um, when you're feeling a little hesitant about something, but at the same time, you're, you're also always made to be your own person. And they encourage that. They encourage you to be the person that you are and to not become like anybody. And when you come from outside the industry, you're anyways, there's no sense of kind of familiarity or any kind of baggage that I have to be a certain way or this is how an actor must be and should be. And I think that is encouraged here, which is what I, I think, I mean, I should share with you all also, which is what I think is most amazing about, about uh, Yashraj Films, that you're always encouraged to become your own person. And whoever you are, you build up on that. Um, and yeah, and that's why it's, of course, with Yashraj being such a big banner, but that's another thing which I think is equally, equally important and um, helpful. No? Definitely, definitely. I agree with you completely because uh, they do encourage you to be your own person and um, at the same time, they'll help you with whatever and they'll keep motivating you and pushing you. And I think they've given me a lot of confidence, which is something I was lacking because I'm so unfamiliar with this world. So I think that's something they really gave me, like this. It was them that said you can do this. So yeah. You look lovely. Now, how is it working with Adar? You all should know that I've recently worked with Adar. Adar was um, assisting Karan Johar in Edel and Mushkil. And he's a very talkative boy, as you all must have already experienced. So how is it, how is it working with him? He's extremely entertaining. He Adar? always has some stories to tell. <laughs> Adar is an extremely entertaining person. Like, just his being is very entertaining. I can watch him and be in splits. Um, he talks a lot. He has a great sense of humor. Uh, he has these wonderful one-liners. And I was never... Um, I was always entertained on set. I was always in splits, even during a really serious scene. I had to actually go to another room. So I was away from Adar because he was always making me laugh. But the other thing about Adar is that he has a very short span, of uh, uh, attention span. So you could be talking to him, you could be this close to him, but he's not listening to you. Like he's just in his own world and I could be like, Adar, 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 does not care. It doesn't matter who you are, you know, what you're saying. It, 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 so that's, that's just one flaw he has, I'd say. But it was wonderful working with him. I think um, it, it's nice because this is, both our first film so starting a journey together learning so many things together it was because we both were equally excited about everything first day on set first day of shoot um, this press conference so everything is just a wonderful it has been a wonderful journey together Anya you're lovely and um, very charming 
and whatever interaction that I've had with you today, it's been um, um, so uh, refreshingly uh, honest that um, I hope you do really, really well and your first film is very successful and your work is highly appreciated. I'm hearing very good things uh, about your work. So I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.